all set here. I guess we're got about seven o'clock. Uh, I'll open up uh, July seventh, two thousand sixteen, meeting of the Zoning Board of Appeals. Uh, I'm going to switch the agenda around a bit tonight since we have uh, case number sixteen o five, which was originally the last case heard. We have received a uh, request for withdrawal without prejudice on that. So I will uh, go ahead and uh, go with that case first then. So uh, as I say, uh, we received a uh, email in that case, uh, board members, yeah, uh, from the uh, applicant, uh, Tom and Cindy Bates. They noted, after consulting further with our attorney, we have decided at this time not to pursue a variance for the property, for our property at 18 Fairview Avenue. Therefore, we ask to withdraw without prejudice from our appointment on Thursday, July 7th. We will not be able to attend this meeting and hope that this letter will be in our place. Uh, I would be open to a motion from a board member then uh, to uh, accept the applicant's request. I'll uh, make a motion that the board approve uh, the applicant's request in case 1605 to withdraw their application for 18 Fairview Avenue Reading. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Second. Second from Mr. Jarima. Uh, any further discussion? If not, all those in favor of the request for withdrawal without prejudice. Thank you. 500, let the record show. Uh, Let me just make a note here on this. Uh, Probably have to do something quick here. Well, I'll write, uh, I'll write something up quick for the file. Yeah, sure, that'll be fine, David. <coughs> Thank you. We will go back to uh, our regular series here. And the next item we have on our agenda is case number 1613. Uh, public hearing on the petition of uh, Stephen Ciccarelli, Esquire, seeks a variance under section 6.3 and 7.4 of the zoning bylaws for uh, property located at 86 Bancroft Avenue. AC Attorney Ciccarelli is here. Thank you. Let me uh, go ahead and read the. Uh, Notes. Oh, first of all, I should write read this too for the uh, tonight's television uh, presentation. Uh, tonight's meeting of the ZBA is being recorded for RCTV. It is live. Comcast Channel 22 or Verizon Channel 33. The videographer for tonight's meeting is Rob M. Check www.rctv.org for more information and for replay times. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I don't get that there. Continue. Okay, that's Okay, let's see. Uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals. We'll hold a public hearing in the Selectman's Meeting Room at the Town Hall, 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts, on Thursday, July 7, 2016, at 7 p.m. On the petition of Stephen L. Ciccatelli, Esquire, who seeks a variance under Section 6.3 and 7.4 of the Zoning Bylaws, in order to add onto the existing non-conforming three-family dwelling and to connect to a detached structure on the property located at 86 Bancroft Avenue in Reading, Massachusetts. The use will remain as a three-family dwelling. Oh, God. Let me get that out. Uh, unless there is an objection, 
I will dispense with the reading of the abutters list except to say that the abutters were notified as were the following. Board of Selectmen, Town Clerk, Police Department, Fire Department, Building Department, Conservation Commission, Health Department, Assessor's Office, Engineering Division, CPDC, members and associate members of the Board of Appeals, as well as the planning boards of Wakefield, Linfield, North Reading, Stoneham, Woburn, and Wilmington. Testimony given before this board is taken under oath, so if you think you may want to speak, please stand and raise your right hand. <laughs> okay. I swear that the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I do. I do. I do. Is the response. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chikatelli, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm here this evening representing Pauline Ferrazzi, trustee of Bancroft Realty Trust. Uh, I, I know that the board is in receipt of a memo from the building inspector, which I'm also in receipt of. I received it a couple of days ago. And um, this is a, an opinion that has apparently recently arisen where Glenn does not feel this is, in fact, a legal non-conforming three family. So obviously, I think the appropriate thing to do, uh, and I would defer to the board in terms of how you'd like to handle this procedurally, is to continue the matter because I'm asking for an alteration to what I believe was a conforming three family and obviously I think that has to be established before the board moves on to the, the next step. At, at this stage, and again this is something that ha has never been questioned even when the application was filed, so I, I want to review the, the records in Glenn's office one more time. Um, he was kind enough to send me a copy of the 1966 conversion permit which seemed right. to speak to a two family. So what I was wondering is uh, if we could uh, take, if I could maybe by way of an amendment, amend the existing application um, and, and, and then, because we've already submitted the plans, uh, everything's been submitted, it's been reviewed, and then I'm not certain if I would simply request additional relief, I know it would have to be re-advertised of course, but, uh, or whether we would have a section eight appeal. So I can't even say that I disagree with Glenn at this point because I haven't reviewed the, we literally just received this on Tuesday. But if I, if I could, um, you know, if we could continue this to maybe a meeting in August or September at the board's preference, if I could by letter uh, amend the application, um, and, and then I believe it would have to be re-advertised. And, and, and if I am not able to establish that it's a three, obviously we would not be doing a Section 8 appeal. I'd be agreeing with Glenn and simply asking uh, for the necessary relief to establish it as a three and then th then you could I think act on this request Otherwise, I think it's really premature this evening to act on it. Okay uh, Let's see what they do with my agenda here Uh, okay, it, whatever. Uh, we do have a request now, I believe, uh, to uh, continue this case uh, from the app from the applicant. And uh, oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. Thank you, Eric. I believe our next opening on this is uh, August fourth. Uh, is an open date. Now I know on the 18th we already have a couple of members that have indicated that they will not be able to make it. I, I believe, you know, due to personal reasons, vacations, whatever. Yeah. I'm actually away that week, and I think the fourth we may have an issue with advertising. Could we go beyond that? Mr. Okay. Jim? It looks like I. <laughs> the, the next date I see in the agenda is September 1st, which is obviously Labor Day. <laughs> be meeting Labor Day so. <laughs> so it would most likely be the 8th would be our first meeting in September okay. uh, so it looks like that would be the first time we could uh, then meet meet uh, on this okay. continuation that would be, be fine, September 8th I, I can simply request your first meeting in September if that's okay if okay uh, so we have a request before the board from the applicant for a continuation of case number 16-13 to September 8th, 2016. Uh, would a board member uh, care to make a motion on this? I'll make a motion that we uh, accept the applicant's request to continue the case 
1613 to what we think is the September 8th or uh, alternatively the first available September right uh, board meeting so moved okay do I have a second a sec a second that second nap can okay the concern okay. that I have is do we further discussion John okay yeah. uh, would be um, we probably need I would think that we would need this request in writing um, only because we're moving forward almost two months. Um, we could wait. That's right. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, if it was just yeah, I two mean, they, if they're going to allow you, they may allow you to amend. In which case, yeah, we would definitely need it. But if they're going to require to to refile, or if you're going to add a Section Eight appeal, that might even require a new application. So, but I think to be safe, yeah, just would you put it in writing so that we, you know, maybe indicate also that you'd waive the. Timing requirement, of course. So, so what you could do if you could just put a quick letter together and uh, send it to uh, the town, and uh, just note as discussed at the meeting, we will, you know, the board voted to uh, uh, continue this to September eighth, uh, with uh, you know any further materials to follow, etc. On that amendments or, or whatever. Uh, okay, so I have a motion. I have a second. Any further discussion? It's not open to the public, ma'am. <laughs> uh, no further discussion. Okay, all those continuing this to September 8th. Please raise your hand. Okay, Thank so you very much. So if you would get a letter in on that, that uh, right. confirming that with the town, that would be fine. Thank, Thank you, you Attorney mm -hmm. Chickatelli. Um, that would go, go to Glenn, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it would make it to town staff. Yeah. Dave. Okay. Okay, thank you. John. Nick. Okay, let me just get the card squared away here. Yes, ma'am. Can we ask any questions? Uh, on a particular case, or this is just a general question? A lot of terminology is thrown around, and I don't really know what it means. You, you have a lot of terminology is thrown around, and I don't know what it means. Things like non-conforming three-family or something two-family. Is there any way? Yes. Know, know what you could do? Family? Yeah, yeah. The best thing to do would be if you come down to town. And talk with the uh, building inspector, the code enforcement officer, who's who's Glenn Redman, and talk to him in the planning department. And he would be able to enlighten you to what all those terms mean and and what's going on there. Particularly as they relate to that structure. Yes, yes, particularly as it re relates to that structure. The entire file regarding this is public record. Yep. So you could certainly you could ask come for the whole file. Ask the, ask the community services office town staff to take a look at the file if you wanted to and that might also uh, give you the information that you're looking for. Would that be available online as well? That uh, I, they, they I doubt it. They don't upload those. No, they yeah, don't, they they don't, don't uh, copy every packet which is you know a whole file mm -hmm. and put that online. So you have to come down and, and copy that there. You would see the agenda and stuff like that. That's all. Now between now and September 8th hypothetically No, no, you, you could submit that in a uh, email or a letter to the uh, building department. To the building department? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in the person to actually send it to, I believe, would be attention Maureen Knight. Yes. And uh, she is the kind of the administrator for the building department. 
uh, on K N I G H T. Yeah, if you go to the town website, there'll be a link to your email address. Yeah, okay. probably even under the ZBA if you even go to the right. ZBA. He's right. Right. Responsible. You could uh, send an email, or you could do a written letter. Come down and talk to her. <laughs> yeah, do that. Or you could, and as I said, the building inspector is available. I believe he works part time now, Glenn does, and I believe probably three days out of the week he's available. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, ah. seven to eight thirty, he's available. Okay. Seven yep. a.m. to eight thirty. Yeah. And certainly, you have every right to appear as you have tonight. Sure. Very good. Yeah. Thank you okay. so much. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, next case. We have the agenda. It is a continuation of case number 16-10. Uh, a variance under section 6.21B, lot shape, of the zoning bylaws in order to create a buildable lot on the property located at 116 Van Norden Road, Reading, Massachusetts. And I see we've lost most of our audience, except the applicant, Mr. Sullivan, is here. Uh, Jack, you want to, uh, floor is yours, if you want to get us up to date here uh, with what's happened. Uh, for the record, my name is Jack Sullivan. I'm a part of the Sullivan Engineering Group. Um, we came before you probably two months ago uh, looking for uh, a variance from lot shape relief at the property at 116 Van Norden Road. It was for the purposes of creating a, a lot A, which is where the existing house sits on the property, and a lot B, which would be a non built uh, parcel A, which would be a non building lot to the rear of the property with um, some frontage on Harold Avenue. And we had a good discussion two months ago, but what it came down to is there were some questions on how to proceed with this. Uh, we're coming to the ZBA. gave a written opinion to the, to, uh, the plan, to the town planner, basically saying we should come to ZBA first. Um, they said by the ZBA granting a variance, it allows the lot to lawfully exist, but it doesn't actually create the lot, but they, they actually stated that the ZBA should be the first step. Following this hearing, assuming I get a grant the variance and I would file an A&R plan with CPDC and I would note on that A&R plan the ZBA decision on page of the decision on that plan. Mm -hmm. Basically, town council said you could do either or. You do, I could go to CPDC first, then come to you, uh, but they actually recommended ZBA first, then CPDC for the A&R plan. Um, okay. So that's basically where we stand. I believe I believe the chairman was copied on that correspondence with town council. Um, and the only other thing I can go with is um, the Conservation Commission did issue an ORAD, which is an order of resource area delineation, approving the wetland flag locations. So the wetland line that you see on your plan has been approved. Okay. You submitted a uh, up to date plan to this. This is the yeah. latest revision I have is May 31st, 2016, Jack. That's all. And yes, I know that. I yep. didn't bring mine with me. Oh, you did. Revision two on it. Yep. May yeah. 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 Revision two. I will share with you, John. Yep. Right. This is this is the additional line that was added. Okay. Yeah, the, added. Last, the last plan didn't have that. Right. The lot fully. This piece right here. It, yeah. It had it, in. it had it, but in what happened is when I do my drawing, there's certain line weights I put with different right. colors. That line didn't come out as dark as the property line, so town council made a comment saying it looks like it was left off, but it was there, and he noted it was there, but it wasn't the same line. It, was, it wasn't as bold so as, I, I yeah. that was more of a drafting, but it wasn't to be deceptive, right? It 
Well, yeah. in the interest of having a good plan to stamp, yeah, better better to have it clear. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I corrected that, and um, I think we're up to speed now. Um, and, and the whole idea with this is I, I state from the previous meeting the existing lot shapes non-conforming. Uh, the lot that we create out front, lot A, it, it's more conforming to the lot shape requirements than the existing lot. Um, it still doesn't comply, that's why I'm here, but it, it's more right. conforming. Right. Uh, okay, uh, I was going to say, David, you already had a couple comments. Any further comments, uh, No, David? that was it for me. That was it. John, any comments? No, that was my uh, main concern. Lot A um, didn't have the I couldn't see it. Yes, yeah, how that very easily there, but your corrected plan here, emphasizing the uh, enclosure, finalizing the lot, uh, right. very made it very clear. So, right. and the and the requirements um, meeting for the odd shape of the lot, um, you went through those on back on May nineteenth when you first came in. <coughs> um, it appears, at least to me, that you met the requirements. Uh, the odd shape of the lot. I would say, I would say so. I would agree with you, John. Uh, it's it's an odd shape lot. Uh, certainly, it's 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 uh, uh, you know appears like it's uh, it's landlocked now, but it does butt up against uh, a private mm -hmm. roadway, Harold Avenue, and uh, I would. Uh, Assume that uh, further down the road, this is what we're looking at, uh, Jack, as a subdivision, and that would be the access through Harold. That's what the, the owner and applicant is, yeah, is going that's to, what I thought. to do. Okay. There's not enough frontage on Harold Avenue for a conforming lot. Um, we'd have to go through CPDC for either a subdivision. So you, so you have to go to CPDC right. then to get approval of your subdivision. Correct. Of this, yeah. Correct. Uh, Eric, any questions? I, you, uh, let's see. I had. Let's see. Who back on? Uh, let's see. I gotta look at this one. I believe. Uh, David, Kathleen, John. I had to watch it on. Right. Uh, Nick, I believe, was in on this as an associate. He did not vote the last time for the continuation. I believe Eric was absent, mm -hmm. so Eric did not hear the first night's uh, arguments for the variance. Well, not there, but I, I did watch it online. You did watch yeah. it online. Oh, okay. okay, did you sign a... I probably need to get one for you. You probably will yeah. need to get one and do that. I will do that for you. Okay, thank you. But and no, I, I think Nick that did hear the uh, first night's uh, uh, arguments on, on this particular case. So, Eric, uh, do you have any... Questions, nope. Nick? Straightforward. Uh, no questions or comments. Okay, thank you. Uh, at this time, then, I would entertain a motion uh, in regards to the applicant's uh, seeking of a variance under section 6.2.1b, lot shape of the zoning bylaws, in order to create a buildable lot on the property located at 116 Van Norden Road, Reading, Massachusetts. I would entertain a motion to that effect now. I'll make a motion that uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals approve case number, the applicant petition in case number 16-10 uh, for a variance under 621B regarding lot shape in order to create a buildable lot on the property located at 116 Van Norden Road in Reading, Massachusetts. Thank you. Do I hear a second? Second. Second from Eric. Uh, any further discussion, board members? If not, we'll take a vote. All those in favor of the motion, raise your hand. Okay, let the record show variance is granted, 500. Thank you. Uh, Jack, let me stamp this for you, this plan here, for your. Uh... You got here just in time. It should be a quick night for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not done yet. So. No, no one's here, yeah. so it's <laughs> <don't laughs> Right. No, 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 no. No, I, I did. Yeah, I think I, we got it in the mail. You did? Yeah. I mean, we did. Yeah. I, got I, I just put it with uh, another package. Yeah. 
lot of paper. A lot of paper. Okay, and you go, Jack, for your records. Yes, sir. Hey, Jack. Seven sixteen. Plan that's in here, huh? The most recent one. Mm -hmm. Kim, I do not see the most recent plan in here in the uh, file packet. Sure. If you if you're not going to use it, David, um, thank you. Uh, you know what? Why don't I take it back? Because I'm going to write it. You are. So I might as well have okay. it if I need to refer to it during the yes. writing process. Sorry. You're welcome to my. Memory. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, being Indian girl. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Just so we have a. So Uh, next item we have on our agenda, other business, is reorganization. We also have minutes. Uh, is there any preference? We could do the minutes first and then do the reorganization. It seemed to make sense, maybe. Probably, Probably yeah. 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 That's a uh, question. Okay, why don't we go review the minutes? Uh, well, the first set we have is February 18th, 2016. those and uh, you should have final copies in your packet tonight. On that, I know I uh, went through it and uh, on that date I had no reasons to the uh, minutes. I, I was uh, anybody else that you have a chance to read them? No mm -hmm. further comments? to approve the minutes of February 18th, 2016. Uh, I have a second from John. Uh, any further comment? I was not present. 
you okay yeah. yeah i think we've gone through this before nick even though you weren't present you can read them if you saw like a or something you could make a change okay. you can vote on them i believe yeah still right. okay uh all those in favor the motion accepting the minutes of two th of february 8th 16. thank you five zero zero okay next minutes we have a uh, is uh, April 7th, 2008. At the bottom, Kim, of page one, mm -hmm. the word residence, TS, should be residence, CE. On the, where is that? The very last line at the bottom of the page, the oh, word oh. residence referring to people to should yeah. be residence <laughs> referring to a building. Okay. And then perhaps after the word principal, adding the word residence, CE. Okay, thank you, David. Good Good catch. On. I was not there at this meeting, so uh, I I went through it and didn't have any major comments. I missed that uh, aspect of it. We had a question on page three. Mm-hmm. Um, one, two, three, four, fifth paragraph down. On yeah. that motion that we we did, which was the um, overhang or the roof area over the doorway um, didn't we approve that with a condition um, that there was going to be no enclosure added we did do it that way um, so should that be reflected in the uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just that after the petitioners with the condition that said enclosure shall be or with I'm sorry that said entrance shall never be enclosed. Mm. I think if we do that, it just uh, take yeah. out the period, maybe yeah. a comma, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then continue that sentence with that. Okay. okay. Any further comments on that date? If not, I, I would okay. accept a motion to accept the uh, minutes as a so moved. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Jarima, uh, further comment? If not, all those in favor, raise your hand. Thank you. 500. Zero, zero. And uh, next meet minutes we do have is April 21st. Uh, 2016 uh, on that and, uh, let's see I read through that I was there myself and uh, yeah I did not have any on that. Uh, anybody else have comments had a chance to read it if not uh, motion to approve the minutes of April 21st 2016 April 21st, yeah, 2016. Uh, do I hear a second? Second. Second for her. Uh, for the comment. If not, all those in favor accepting the minutes. Thank you. 500. And the next minutes we have are May 19th, 2000. No revisions. Yeah, I had a chance to go through this one, and again, I was uh, fine with it. I had no comments on this uh, on these minutes. They were fine as they stood.
on 1609, did we? 16, Where's the garage? Let's see. Cross Street. No, that was, that was continued, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I believe yep. that was. And the next one was and also And then, uh, the, the, yeah. Yep. Which we heard. And then it was with, yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would accept a motion, or uh, a motion to uh, approve the minutes of uh, May 19th, 2016. So moved. So moved. Do I hear a second? Second. Second from Mr. Jarima. Further comment? All those in favor of the motion, accept the minutes of... Uh, May 19th, 2016, 500, zero, zero. thank you. And the last set of minutes we have is uh, June 2nd, 2016. And uh, again, I read the packet or through the minutes and I had no comments on it. I had read through those. Uh, Give everybody a minute or two to read through if they haven't got to it already. Motion to approve the minutes of June 2nd, 2016. Thank you. Do second. I hear a second? Second from John. Uh, any further comment, board members? If not, all those in favor of the motion? Thank you. 500. Zero, zero. And the minutes are taken. That's a lot of minutes. Yeah, we did. We had uh, quite a few there to uh, review. And next item we have is. Uh, reorganization of the board. I've been on as chairman for two years and uh, according to the town bylaws my term is over and uh, we shall elect a new chairman for the next period. Uh, so we're open for nominations. We have a vice chairman. We do. Uh, that typically He's moved so up if he up. so accepts. If, if he so accepts, do we have a nomination for that? I'll make the nomination. Make a nomination. Uh, David, would you accept uh, chairmanship uh, of the board for the next year? Right? Uh, year. And then it's re up after that. And then it's re up after that, okay. I will. Next year? You will. Hopefully. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any other nominations? If not, uh, Okay, I guess that's a motion. You've yeah. nominated uh, David for chairman. All those for the nomination? Raise your hand. Do okay. I get the vote on my own? <laughs> you can vote for yourself. I, I don't think, remember. I think that's allowed. <laughs> okay, thank you. Congratulations, David. Thank you. New chair. And I believe we can also, or we should also vote for a new vice chairman for the uh, yeah, to support David. Uh, we are missing two regular members tonight. Uh, they would be the eligible, they would be eligible to be a vice chairman. I believe the alternates are not eligible uh, as, right. as vice yep. chairman, so. But they can vote, That's they can true. vote for it. So I would uh, go ahead and accept nominations for vice chair for the coming year. I myself and, uh, it, you know, it maybe behooves people to be here or they could be nominated, <laughs> but I would nominate Kathleen Hackett as vice chair for the upcoming year. Uh, anybody else? Uh, I'm not sure with her I'm, commitments that she would find that a, uh, a possible thing yeah. to do with her schedule. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm saying I'm wondering if we wait 
to the next meeting for a vice chair if that's possible. We've never done that, I know. We've always yeah. voted. Always both, both. same night. Yeah. What about uh, you, John? I'll nominate John. Do you have any interest? I haven't. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> First question. Um, yeah. I haven't. I've been chair and vice chair a number of times before. Yeah. Age when I was younger, man. Um, it's only for a year, so sure I would accept that. Okay, sounds good. Nominated uh, John Jarima. Uh, do we have any other nominations? If not, all those in favor of uh, the nomination of John Jarima as vice chairman for the next uh, coming year, raise your hand. Okay, thank you so much, John. You didn't vote for yourself. Well, I can't <laughs> vote for yourself, John. You can five zero zero. Okay. John finally voted there. Okay, great. So we're reorganized uh, for the next coming year, and we'll be sitting in this chair. That sounds good. Okay. And now I know David uh, ended up uh, making the motion on the three cases tonight. Uh, did you want to write all three of those up? That it, well, we have it was a continuance. Continuance, which, which is one. One was no, a continuance. We, we so we really don't, you don't write anything don't up write now. Continuance. The withdrawal right. no, will we don't. be the withdrawal without prejudice. Quick, quick one, one paragraph. And, together, uh, and then the, the Van Norden and one. One sixteen Van Norden should be pretty uh, yeah, simple. I, I think yeah, should be a page. I don't have a problem doing that. I can, okay. I can put it together. Thank you. And then you won't have. And then you won't have to write any for another year. Hopefully. Okay. Very good. So I guess my last order of business as uh, chair then would be calling for an adjournment. Well, before we, before before we do okay. that, I just want to say thank you to Bob and for your service as chair. And I look to you as well for some guidance during my term as chair and hopefully be able to have you pass on some materials <laughs> and things that I might find helpful Absolutely. During, the, during that term as well. Absolutely. Thank you for your service. Anything, anything I can do, David, to uh, smooth the transition, to help you out? Mm -hmm. Certainly. I'd be glad to do. Now, how will we handle the um, transition on the 40B status? You know, David and I were before. He was thinking that maybe I should pay, and I had a different opinion. I don't think we need to be dealing. I think it would be confusing, maybe, for the town to have two chairs. You know, well, you're chair for this, but he's chair for that. And yeah. I'm going to be sitting in on him anyway, so I, I don't. I certainly don't have a problem with David. It, and all you're doing is just in a meeting. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. We, we talked about it. Yeah. And you know, I brought it up just to give you a sure uh, sort of seek your preference in yeah. that regard. And if you mm -hmm. felt like you wanted to stay at the helm for yeah. since you started with it, yeah. that yeah. I, you know, give you first sure. choice at it, or you yeah. know, at least get your commentary on it. And since we decided yeah. that. Like you just said, it didn't yeah. really make much difference. We'll all be there anyway. Sure. For the yep. most part. Um, yeah, hopefully we all will be. <coughs> well, at the end, voting on Definitely. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I should note that that uh, August 18th date that I won't be there. Okay. Is the one month from the date that we've got scheduled. Well, it's the late meeting in the month of August where we typically have been hearing the 40B. So I, I won't be there. Uh, for that, I'm on, I'm on trial that, that yeah. week. I don't. Well, it's not critical right now. Yeah, you're right. The 18th. Well, okay. So if you're not going to be there, and I, I think if, even if you weren't chair, David, and you weren't going to be there, you could view it and do it. I still like to see everybody that has been in attendance at these to do it to follow this through because you miss one meeting. And, well, and we're in tough shape. You can only you can only miss one and then review it on tape, and then you're right. you're out of voting. And so you know, I guess we ought to think about perhaps, you know, yeah. whether or not we give the applicant the first meeting in December, so that we know mm -hmm. on a date that we know, at least as we sit, we know that we'll yeah. all be there. Okay, uh, something to think about anyway. Nothing that yeah. we have to decide. Yeah, something to think now. about. We we do we do have it coming up uh, on. Uh, uh, the uh, the 40 B, which is 3940 Lincoln Street to 12 Prescott, uh, on July 21st, down at the uh, uh, Pleasant Street Senior Center, and we will have it there. And I think at that time, let's see what we have, see what we're going with uh, 
the applicant and see what's uh, what's good for him. Well, we don't have to have it on a monthly basis. No, it could go to it could go two week basis. It could. It yeah. could be the following week could after be. you've had the yeah. meeting, or it could go more than a month. Right. I mean, there's no there's no precedent setting. The only precedent is the time frame for ending, uh, which is we have in the letter now. What's our date of November one? November yeah. one. Right. Which probably well, well, would be continued anyway. You're, you're right, John. Uh, August eighteenth, which is a, a regular meeting. Uh, Kathleen and David are out. Right. And there's nothing saying we couldn't uh, go to August 25th. Correct. Well, I, you know, we just have to be careful, I think, because there are going to be a number of things scheduled uh, by the selectmen, I think, during mm -hmm. that time. I know there's going to be some meetings and hearings on the upcoming override, whether or not there's, there's going to be a meeting scheduled, I think, and I want to say that might even be September. Well, I think... Uh, you know, well, a lot of this stuff could iron itself out, uh, I think, by the meeting on the 21st. I think so. And certainly, yeah. at the meeting on the 21st, we would have uh, the assistant town manager there, Gene Delios, who would know what the yep. schedules are for that. Yep. So I think at that point, we could maybe iron out what sure. would be the, the good date for the next meeting after the 21st on that. Sure. Yeah. So we'll do that. Okay. So any any other business for the discussions or anything? Nobody. Okay. I, so. I would accept a motion for adjournment now. Then. So moved. So moved. Second. Second. Uh, all those in favor of adjournment. Five zero zero. Thank you so much. Okay. okay.